Okay. Hold on, give me one second, y'all. Okay, yeah, here we go. First of all, let me see the lighting good. Nope, I gotta hold on. God dang, give me one second. One second. Oh, shit. oh yeah. God, what's the vibes? What's the vibes? What's the vibes? All right, what's up, Nate? What's up, Live Chips? What's up, Christina? What's up, Tybee Trolling? What's up, my mother? For hitting me up, making sure her son is all right. Appreciate that, Monk Dukes. Um, yeah, we're gonna get into this right here. We're gonna get into this. Um, we definitely gonna get a lot of chips. You're kind of sad, man. What's up? A lot of chips. I know about you too, man. I know that you use VPNs and socks five and damn spoof your Mac address. I know about that. I'm hip to that. And you actually doing a poor job at it, but yeah. <laughs> I know about that CPN primaries, no AUs. You'll feel rap probably money, man. So what's up, Negro? Um, Damus. Appreciate the donations from y'all. My dog Dre up in here. Dre, we had a crazy time um yesterday. So oh yeah, we be oh yeah, I'll be going, I'll be letting a lot of chips have it, man. Cause a lot of chips, bro. Ever since I saw you on AO, shout out to the Big Facts podcast, you know, with the nab. He invented that word. Um, that slang. But I saw a lot of chips on um that live and we was looking at a nab girl right and she was thick and a lot of chips was like her 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 cat fat i still hit you know what i'm saying like that's so a lot of chips every time i see you got a love and hate relationship with you my brother bobby dang roasting me on your behind about that ever since then it was on i actually got footage of evidence of exposing him too so that being said for sure, shout out shop a for sure let's get this clear before we started the word nab and nan the Big Facts Podcast, Ayo Kaseko, fearless leader of the Men Too. He's the pioneer of that. Not no Mike Epps, not none of anybody else we got here. You know, let's go ahead and like, let's get that clear right there. All right. So come on, man. We ain't going <laughs> to appreciate you, Christina, for like, you know, breaking that down. All right. So today we definitely want to, I have saved that video. This guy, he's actually from here. He's from Florida. And I've been, you know, I've been on YouTube, you know, looking at stuff, doing a little time stamps for my lives. And I was like, vibe. And I was like, looking at educational podcasts and stuff. And then on my recommendations, I came across this video and it had this dude and he was talking about had kids with the wrong woman, nab, shots up the AL. And the kids are suffering. Kids are suffering. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, AO had dang, um, he trademark um, he trademarked two things now. I ain't going to be in all of his business, but no, he know about that business in LLC. Hey, trust me. I'm talking about own business account, own the check, the checkbook got the damn LLC name that he got on it and all the paperwork is right on that. So yeah, ever since, you know, that little hiccup from earlier, you know, um, we ain't going to say no names, but you know, well, we already said name. If y'all catch my drift, the Big Facts podcast, you know, Ayo. So ever since that little squirmish, I think he got right with it. So shouts out to him. Yeah. And um, oh yeah, Miami. Shouts out to Miami, you know. Christina. Oh yeah, he legit now, man. All because it's education. You know, we all got um intellectual property and we exchanging it. So yeah. You do be seeing a lot of chips everywhere too. When I think about it. Damn, I had read that quote, Negro wrong, my bad. All right, so let's see if I got it. I liked it. Or did I say it? Where the hell was it at? Give me one second, y'all. My apologies. All right, video playlist. Uh, I think I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. Okay, so like videos, like videos, pull up. Nope, not that one. Nope. It's like I think it's like my first time doing like a reaction. All right, boom, found it. Okay, found it. Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, it's gonna be good right here. This is gonna be good. Put that up right there. I'm about to share the screen right here. Share audio. Before we even get to it, Contender One. Um, it says had a baby with the wrong woman. Now the kids are suffering. All right, so we're gonna watch this together, and we're gonna stop it and we're gonna break it down. And if it get too wild, because I ain't watched this whole thing, I only watched like 30 seconds of it. If it get too wild. We definitely gonna bring some people up on here to talk about it from personal experiences from them. Cause me, I have no kids, but I used to hang around people who were like growing up like five or six years older than me. And I seen the impact of it 
uh, being irresponsible as a man, you know, a man, we ain't talking about a woman. Come on. Life is not fair. Okay. Who cares? You know, double standards, you know, a woman have kids, you know, section eight government assistant. Uh, okay. Who cares about that? We talking about you as a man, you is your fault. The reason why you got kids is because you a horny fuck who can't control his urges. Okay. That's your fault. Okay. And I know it's going to hurt some feelings, man. I got some brothers up in here. Hey, bro, you know, but it's tough love. Same thing my father be doing to me, man. Shit, my father went through it too, but he ain't never gave up. So shouts out. So at the end of the day, don't get it twisted. I respect this brother on this video and definitely respect my father because he like the 10% or the 1% of niggas who take care of their kids. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, no matter about the dang struggle, no matter about getting locked up, no matter about running the streets, always been there. Only speak good about him. So yeah. Oh yeah, you know I got YouTube premium. This is why, see, listen. I'm not trying to sound bougie. Hell, no, I'm not bougie. But when I see somebody show me something on YouTube off their phone, and I see a little commercial come up, I'm like, Shraggy? I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm like, hey, hold on. Something ain't right here. I said, because I don't, because commercials already, like, eh, my bad, dog. But I appreciate y'all. If y'all, like, watch my videos and y'all got commercials coming on them, that's because I'm trying to, like, some of my videos could get monetized, some of them. And that helps out a lot. That helps me slowly get away from my slave job down working you know what i'm saying i got a nine to five too i'm a conscious slave too shouts out to savings minds deck gonna get them on here so you know i do the same thing i do you know i go to the bathroom and i use the bathroom just like y'all i shower just like y'all hey i'm not no robot or nothing so all this is just off of pure like will and determination you feel what i'm saying so youtube premium yes yeah, underrated you could download videos and play them when you don't got no internet connection Oh, you cut out for a second. My bad. All right, let me know if the, um my connection is good. If my quality, my audio and everything is good. Let me know that. First of all, let me see my Wi-Fi straight. My Wi-Fi on. All right. Let me know if y'all can hear me. And we about to go ahead and put this down full screen. I ain't going to talk y'all ear off too much. We're going to get right into it right now. Let me mute this. Six, it's not going to work. And if you mess around and have a baby, y'all going to end up hating each other. Because you ain't right for each other in the first place. I want to share something with y'all that happened yesterday. Um, and then I want to get into something that I feel like every man, every teenage boy and young man should think about before they go out and have sex unprotected and potentially bring a child into this world. All right, we're going to stop right there. We're going to start right there. This guy pretty much is saying, you know, having unprotected sex with, you know, just being irresponsible in general right there. So all off rip, I'm assuming that's what he went through. So he's going ahead. At least he's telling his story. I'm going to keep it going. Let's go. You know, um, as y'all know, I have two kids, a little boy and a little girl. You know, the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Okay, two kids. Two kids. He ain't fuck up once. He fuck up twice. Hopefully by the same mother. But who knows? We're going to keep it moving. I ain't never loved nobody as much as I love them two kids. And I can say that wholeheartedly, unequivocally. <laughs> There is no statement that has ever been truer. I love my kids with everything in me. They're blessings. I don't look at my kids as in, as baggage. They ain't holding me back. I love my kids, right? Okay, okay. Shouts out to this brother for being the 10 or 1%. You know, same thing that goes to my father. Shouts to my father if you listen to this. Even my mother, but you know. Because you already know the stigma and the stereotype of our black community with our fathers getting girls pregnant and they just hauling ass. You know what I'm saying? We already know about that. So shouts out to him and my father. But for him, I appreciate him for, you know, not being a statistic and not, you know, running off on a damn child. But, but it could have been avoided. It could have been avoided. And the one thing that I never want to want to have to tell my kids is I can't. You know, there's one thing that my kids ask me for something. And, um, I decide as an adult, as their dad, that no, you can't have that. But to be able to, for, for my child to ask me for something and I physically can't give it to him, 
no matter how bad I want to give it to him, the fact that I can't give it to him, that's something that that really hits you to the core as a man when you got kids because you want to be there for your kids, especially coming from the environment that I came from, pretty much. I would say in the neighborhood I grew up in, right? Let's just say around my, in my age group, right? Let's say the school bus pick us up. How many kids gonna be getting on that school bus with me in the morning? I used to ride the school bus. I would say there was maybe, let's say like 30 kids that used to get on the, on the, um, on the bus with me at my bus stop. I ain't even talking about the kids that I was friends with in school and all that, but just in, at my bus stop, let's say there was 30 kids waiting on the school bus to go to the same school in the morning. I would say out of all of those 30 kids, there might've only been like three or four kids that had a mama and a daddy at the house. We gonna stop right there. Three to four kids that had a mother and a father at the house. And this is when I'm about to start. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pace myself. Why is it that it's culturally approved upon our community to have kids out of wedlock? Okay? Let's not blame our parents. I'm a 95. I'm a 90s baby. I've been born 95. Okay? Let's not fucking blame our parents about this. Okay? They didn't really know. They just, you know, the color purple and all that. But for my generation and on, this is not acceptable right here. You having kids out of freaking wedlock, you know, as a man. And your favorite rapper inspiring it. Three to four kids that got both parents in their household out of those 30 kids on that bus. So it's already in the norm for him to do that. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know, so when they talk about these statistics of being so high with the single parent rate in America, I ain't got no, I ain't got a problem at all believing that them, them numbers are true because in my life, you know, I've seen that, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me get into my story. Yesterday, I had to go drop my kids off. I got 50-50 custody of my kids. So time sharing is the way. Woo, woo, woo. My bad, y'all. Hey, shouts out to you, Ike, for being in here, y'all. You know, Ike. That brother right here got a lot of jewels. Shouts out to Gorilla Kid, GK, Tybee Trolling. Shouts out to y'all for real. One punch line. Condoms are way cheaper. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Appreciate y'all. All right, so salutes to this guy. Same thing with my father. I keep bringing him up. I'm going to bring him up a lot. You, okay, you already fucked up. You already had a child out of wedlock, and you had it by a nap girl, right? Okay, boom. The fact that you a street nigga and you already, you have the mind that the, the the expansion to go through court to get joint custody of your child, y'all don't know how much of a big step that is to a brother. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people personally who won't even step foot in damn court unless they got warrants. So salutes to this brother right here for doing that. But still, we're going to keep it moving, though. If we spend our time sharing, it's like my kids stay with me three nights a week, then they spend the, the next three nights with their mom, and then we just rotate back and forth. So my rotation was over with yesterday. I had them for the whole weekend. I took the weekend off. It was my weekend off, actually. Took the weekend off. Me and my kids had a good time. Went to the pool, went to my sister's house. They got to play with their cousins. Went, you know, did a little shopping, all that. My, my, little, my son went to uh, one of my nephew's baseball game with my, with my mama. Everything was, was great. Real good weekend. So yesterday it come time for me to drop my kids off, right? I pull up to my kids' mom's house. You know, I get up, I get out the car, start getting their stuff out the car to hand to their mom, my son grabbing his stuff. Then all of a sudden, I see my daughter. She got this this real like puzzled look on her face. You know, I know it's something wrong with her because I know my daughter. She's a daddy's girl. So I asked, I said, what's wrong, mama? Immediately, as soon as I asked her that, she bust out in tears like somebody was trying to physically harm her. She just bust out in tears, like snot coming out of her nose, real tears. You know, I, I bent down to, you know, get on her level and, you know, hug and all that type of stuff. She was crying so hard, tears got in my mouth. <laughs> Imagine that. 
just dripping off of her face, tears got in my mouth. <laughs> That's how bad she was crying. So I'm asking, I'm like, baby, what's wrong? She says, I miss you. I ain't even left yet, but she missed me. I'm just not dropping off. I ain't even pulled out the driveway and, and left yet, but she missed me. So I'm sitting there, I'm trying to console her and everything. You know, I tell her, baby, you want to come back home with me? She say, yeah. But this the thing, though. She say she want me to come get her tomorrow. She, she missed me now. She missed me. Right now, she missed me. I asked her, baby, do you want to come home with me? She say, yeah, but tomorrow. Why is my child saying that? Because she love her mama, too. She want to be around her mama, and she want to spend time with her mama, too. You know? So here I go, trying to console my baby and telling her, yeah, baby, I'll come get you tomorrow. I'll come get you. Don't cry, baby. It's going to be okay. Just stay tonight with your mama. I'll come get you tomorrow. That's what she wanted, right? Guess what she say? Why you just can't stay here? Why you just can't stay the night with me? You know what I had to tell my daughter? I can't, baby. Me having to tell my daughter that made me emotional. When I pulled off and I'm thinking about that, it made me emotional. I'm getting emotional talking about it now. That's the thing. That's one of the things I really never hear a man talk about. We talk about the child support aspect of it, and we can talk about that because I had my experience with that. I'm on child support right now. But it ain't because I wasn't taking care of my child that I ended up on child support. So understand, deadbeats ain't the only ones that end up on child support. So let's go ahead and make that clear. I done seen somebody... Pointer. That out in, in the comments before trying to trying to insinuate that I was some kind of deadbeat dude. I've been in my kids life. I actually watched them come out of their mom, and I've been in my kids life ever since. And I've been financially responsible for my kids ever since they first touched down, even before, because you got to buy the clothes and the the bassinets and all that junk before. But anyways, that ain't what this video is about. But men don't talk about. The psychological aspect, the psychological damage that we do to our kids when we out here just having sex, not thinking about the consequences that come behind. You know, this right here, what I just experienced is one of the main reasons why I'm not one of these guys that promote men just using women, having sex, getting what you want out of them and going on about your business. I have seen the dark side of what can happen to not only your kid's mom, but what happened to your kids by you doing that. Because Okay, we're going to take a little brief pause right here. Brother said a lot. He said, people in the comments, he had a resp um, response to a pointer saying that deadbeats pay child support. We're going we gonna to debunk that myth right there off rip. You got great fathers like him right here. Like my fa great fathers that be on child support. I ain't going to try to. Let me check the comments out, man. As a father, 13-year-old girl, this is already hitting me hard. I feel you, Ty. I feel you. I feel you. But I ain't going to release too much on me. Man, listen, man. This shit. Because this so crazy. This is how you know when you're dealing with a nab or you pick the wrong set of women to have kids with. And your favorite rapper, Future, and damn NBA young boy. Oh, appreciate, oh, damn. Appreciate you, Gorilla Kid, for um that donation. Damn, appreciate you. GQ, GK. Gorilla Kid right there supporting for real, man. Damn, I appreciate that. That's that's love. So, you having influencers like NBA Youngboy Future, who talk about she's for the streets and all that. This dude, she's for the streets, but you impregnating them. Look at the irresponsibility. These are 30, almost 40-year-old men that these kids look up to that's influencing kids to damn have kids out of wedlock and pregnant. Not only not in, not only influencing them to raise the crime rate up, because Future said in one of his mixtapes, every time he dropped the crime rate go up, like you know bragging off that shit. That's why I say I got a problem with niggas who like to one up their city, who'd be like, my city man, shit, Chirac over here, shit, whoop whoop man, 
you go ahead and get laid down. Oh, Miami over here, Orlando, hey, Jacksonville, Duval County shit, you get killed around here. I, I got a problem with y'all for doing that shit. That's not cool. So this great father's pay child support, we're going to break that out. I'm going to say this one thing, and I'm just going to let it breathe. I'm going to say one thing right here. I know this hit home because, nigga, I see my father get locked up for child support, and I was staying with the nigga. I was staying with him. This is why I get per. You know what I'm saying? So, so we gonna keep it moving. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't say too much about, it, but yeah, Make yeah, bro. If you out here having a having sex with a bunch of different women, eventually you are gonna slip up. <clears throat> now you can talk about Plan B. You know, I done seen skits. People do talking about yeah, go ahead and take this Plan B. You can talk about Plan B. You can talk about abortions. You can talk about all that. But understand this, <clears throat> the more sex you have, the more chance, if you being irresponsible, <clears throat> for you to impregnate somebody. Irresponsible, yeah, irresponsible. You need to not only think about the whole aspect of child support and all that, but you need to think about what your kids are gonna go through and what they are gonna experience from you being irresponsible. A man has all the control during one part of the relationship, one part of the interaction between a man and a female, a man has all of the control after the consent is, um, after you get consent, you have all the control before you penetrate a woman. After that, all the control fall in that woman's hand. And if you ain't having sex with somebody that ain't right for you, I mean, that's right for you. If you having sex with one of your one night stands and y'all don't really know each other like that, y'all ain't even in a relationship. You just seen her, she's sexy, and you want some. If you having a, a relationship with a sexual relationship with a woman like that, somebody that you know for a fact you would not choose to be your wife, you are playing Russian roulette because we gonna stop right there. I'm glad he said this. And a lot of chips. I'm on your ass today. I'm on your pause. Pause, a lot of chips. You and this brother right here. This is when I get mesmerized. Angie Herbal, the one who like to get beat like an R&B singer in the 90s. You know, Mary J. Blige, Michelle Lay type status. Okay? Y'all got a fetish for this shit. Y'all like to impregnate girls who are not, like, responsible for their own well-being. Because I'm going to tell you why, La Chips. I know you're watching. Listen, La Chips. Listen. You see a girl with the, the big titties and the big ass and the, the horse ass hair hanging off them and all that. You already hit and in the door. You don't care if she has a speech impediment. She don't even like this. Is, and this is where it gets real scary. I'm not going to go too deep on this right here, but you, okay, men are visual creatures. I get it. But you got to have a cap on that thing because he is right. Every man has the um, full upper hand on that. So I don't, I don't rock with guys who always like to play the, the blame victim. Like, you know, be the brothers who, this one dude recorded a video of his nab baby mama dropping the kid off in the car seat on his porch and it was like below 10 degrees outside and his dumb ass recording the video man look at her man look at she got my kid in the cold man little woo -doo -woo -woo -woo. listen here nobody listen I, i'm telling you bro i don't care about these victim things for guys man because you the one lot of chips and many others like you who just see something and just want to hop on it being irresponsible instead of you recording that thing and all that get your damn child out the cold handle that thing through court right there you see what I'm saying? Like, come on, we ain't gonna go too deep on it, but yeah. That woman end up getting pregnant and she decide I'm not taking no plan B and on top of that, I'm not having no abortion for whatever reason it is. If it's a a, a a religious reason or maybe she just want a child, maybe she trying to keep you. I don't know what the, the reason would be for a woman to not get a, a, a an abortion because people got their whole, you know, their they own reason, you know? But if that woman decides she's keeping that child, you are alone for the ride. There's nothing you can say or do to get any kind of control in that situation. If the relationship don't work out and y'all end up having to go y'all separate ways, you're going to have to spend a portion of your income to take care of that child, no matter if the child lives with you or not. You're gonna have to, your child going to have two wardrobes. You gonna, your child going to have two sets of pampers. Your child going to have two sets of uh, formula. Your child going to have two sets. <laughs> In some cases, your child going to have to have two different birthdays. Because some of us 
have such toxic relationships with our kids parents that we can't even stand to be around each other for to you know to, to last a, a full birthday party with each other i experienced that for my own self <laughs> that is sad that is sad don't even laugh off that brother he probably laughing to, to hide away the tears off that you mean to tell me that with your now baby mother you're not able to spend a birthday with your child because of the tension and the the, the hate y'all have towards towards each other like what you see, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, Tybee Troll, where Lot Chips at? Lot Chips hop in here. He been talking all that shit. Now he gone. Now he gone, man. You see Lot Chips? Yeah, we don't see you because we speaking facts right here, okay? He said the child has to sometimes have two birthdays because the parents can't stand each other. And to be honest, at the end of the day, nobody gets the upper hand on this. This is going to, like, mentally traumatize the child. This is going to psychologically mess the child up this, in, at the end of the day. To be honest, I see this. They don't come on, man. Like people who like influenced by rappers and who are like in my age bracket, and you it don't even have to be you. It could be the woman using a child as a bait just to hold on to you or to have something above you and all that. Or you could be, you know, vice versa. It don't matter. It's just at the end of the day, that child is gonna be psychologically scarred, it's gonna be traumatized, it's gonna be messed up, messed up, all because y'all playing tick for tack with each other. And at the end of the day, I blame the man for it because, like him, you the one who want to be hot in the damn pants and everything instead of take cold showers and damn free willy and all these damn girls. And it's nab girls. It's not, I can see you free willy and the girl who is the, the leader of the chess tournament or the damn librarian this or not. Like, you know what I'm saying? You over here going to the club and you just either off the perk, the lean, whatever, you picking out a girl from there. You already know where that's going at. So we're going to keep this moving, man. So believe me when I tell you, it's possible. Just think about all the money that's wasted from you having to buy two sets of everything. If you have a woman that wants to make you fight for custody of your children, that is not cheap. You're going to have to spend thousands of dollars. Trust me when I tell you, I told you, I got 50-50 custody of my kids. People don't willingly go to court and ask for 50-50 custody of their kids. They don't, they would rather deal with that situation outside of the courts. You want to know why? Because it's expensive. And then number two, in my opinion, if we go half on a baby, we should, even if the relationship break up, we should still share equal roles in the kids' lives. It's not a, a a matter of being in control or anything like that. It's just see, see, I'm I'm sorry. Can you educate? Shouts out to you to Jeep Devon, keep living grump. I never thought I'd be going through this. Hey, hey, bro, I appreciate you for you know. This ain't nothing to be trying to like laugh off of nothing. No, no, this is like a lesson right here for um people who not in this situation already. But somebody in the chat, please explain to me when people be like, let's go half on a baby. Or fit, like, what the hell does that mean? To, I don't know. I'm ignorant when it comes to that. Does it mean, like, I be hearing rappers from back in my past saying, let's go half on a baby. Or 50 Cent talk about have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire. Some retarded shit like that. So please explain to me about what goes half on a baby is before I spaz out on that phrase right there. All right. The one that has a gymnastics, God, gymnastics. I apologize if it sound like I have a hiss because my Smile Direct retainers keep I can't pronounce my t -t 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 all that shit right there because it cover up my all my gaps in my teeth. So, anyways, the one that has a gymnastics scholarship or something to that extent, huh? <laughs> oh, 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 I get it now. I get it now. Yeah, we talk about like going to the club and damn just free willying all these girls and stuff. Not, not damn free willying the girl who's the leader of the chess club tournament or you know on some. What's that dude name? Uh, not YBN. Uh, damn. He had that one girl. She was um the champion at tennis or something. But he don't got a kid yet, so shouts out to him. Corday. Yeah, Corday. These guys ain't picking like Corday or nothing like that. And it don't have to be like the number one top. It don't even have to be like that. It's just the mindset. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I have a problem with these rappers influencing shit like this. Stupid retort. Yeah. Just purely from a standpoint of your kid is going to need both of his parents. The ideal situation is to be married 
and have your children with a woman that you have a healthy relationship with and vice versa. Don't be like me. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Do not put yourself in that predicament where you end up having a split family and you got to raise your kids from two different households and you can't get along with your kids. Mom, make sure you are dealing with women that you can see a future with. Get to know the women that you having sex with. <clears throat> Don't be out here just spreading your seed everywhere because I'm telling you, not only from a monetary uh, stance, like I said, just the, the 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 situation that your kids gonna grow, have to grow up in is enough to make a man never should uh, should make a man never want to be in that situation because, like I said, is is uh, man, my daughter looked like she was traumatized yesterday, man, and it's my fault that she going through that. Oh yeah, I'm glad you said that. It's your goddamn fault. It is your fault man it is your freaking fault now nah, i'm not trying to sound i don't want to sound like that because you know people might take it on some damn i'm like Derek jackson or some fucking um umar johnson stuff no 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 i mean you kind of catch where i'm if y'all know me personally y'all know that i i don't like the guys playing that victim role shit you know what i'm saying so he's right it is his fault for even getting in a situation like this because he like a lot of chips i haven't seen a lot of chips up in here a lot of chips. Some. I appreciate you. Some. Some. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Some. Some. I appreciate that, Negro. I don't want to be absolute. But you got a lot of people like a lot of chips. You see how you done exit out this live because we was getting on him that just have this animalistic type behavior. I I keep telling y'all this story about my last job. There was a guy, a brother. You know, brother of ours. Not anymore. We disowned him. But this dude had two kids already from two different girls. Came out of prison or jail, whatever. This dude said, hey, man, grump, whoop, whoop. Hey, if um the girl got a pussy, I'm fucking it. I don't care how she looking on that. I mean, it's just, you know, pussy's pussy. Let me tell y'all I had to stay far the fuck away from that guy right there. Had to block calls, had to block social medias and everything. And he knows it. If he, if he pop up in the comments on YouTube right here, I'm blocking him. I'm going to tell you that why. Birds of a feather flock together. Him telling me that scared me. What do you mean if a pussy don't have a face to like see what I'm talking about? So live chips, yeah, you're gonna have to. I know you out of this live right now. After this live, maybe hopefully if you got the nuts to come back and watch the rest of this live, you'll see where I'm coming from. Imagine how that made me feel, and I ain't just saying this because. I just want to appeal, appeal to your good nature. What I'm telling you some real stuff, bro. I feel like every child, every, every, I feel like every young man that's at a sexually active age needs to hear this type of message. Ain't nobody tell me this aspect of it before I had kids. I was 28 when I had kids. Now I was, I was a grown man. But nobody had ever said anything to me about what I'm talking about. The only thing I had ever heard about a man and a woman having uh, kids is that you can end up on child support. I don't heard men talk about child support in the barbershop all the time. You know, I don't heard men tell me, oh, I told my baby mama, if she ever put me on child support, she ain't getting nothing else out of me. All that. That's the type of stuff. That's the most disrespectful selfish narcissistic shit i ever hear my baby mama listen it's your fault i appreciate you gk gorilla kid but he's speaking facts though he is owning that accountability that will make you a man you own the accountability of your mistakes okay you the reason you you're the one who predicts their you changes your future you're the one who makes these decisions that have consequences whether they're good or bad you know what i'm saying so shouts out to you the gorilla, gorilla kid and um, Tybee Trolling and his brother right here. Owning that accountability. What you mean at the barbershop? You know at the barbershop, hey, I know I know my Zoe's watching this. I, I know my barbershop. I, yeah. R, I know you're watching this. Hey, it's all love right there. You know, the Zoe's, they keep me fresh. They keep the lineup fresh and all that. Matter of fact, Zoe, next time when I see you tomorrow, if you open, 
I'm gonna need for you to not do the top hairline right here because you know you push my shit back. But people at the barbershop talk about if she put me on child support, that's all she gonna get from me. That's selfish because at the end of the day, when we take a step back, this is affecting the child. Everybody be thinking about me, 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 or the mom, 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 or the dad, dad, dad. What about the goddamn child? This is what we, the child. Hey, for some reason, when I say that, that shit don't register in like most of these damn niggas' heads or something. It's like, you know, oh, she over here, blah, 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 blah. the child. Fuck all that other stuff, the child. That's what it is. That's the end goal, the child, okay? Stuff I used to hear from me. Nobody never told me a the psychological aspect of having children out of wedlock and having children with somebody that's not right for you. I just said wedlock. See, you read my, so, you know the same thing. That's crazy. I saw a comment on the last video that I put out. You know, the one I was talking about, the, the most important advice single mothers need to know about dating. I saw a comment in that um, video that made me feel like yeah i need to talk about this on top of the fact that that situation happened with happened with me yesterday it's like it was perfect timing maybe it's a sign it was a sign that i needed to talk about this but shout out to you i forgot your name but whoever come in it on that last video talking about and ask the question why don't men talk about how important it is to guard your seed or something to that effect you the inspiration behind this video Shout out to you. But, um, yeah, man, I just wanted to share that with y'all because uh, it's important. And um, in my experience, men don't really talk about that aspect of having a child. So I wanted to be the one to uh, give this perspective to my brothers and, and, and you know, put it out there hey this is the type of stuff that go on you got to think about your children you know i know we talk about we always see in the you know the media whatever the case may be we always see the message of child support custody family court the court system ain't fair to the men and this and that and this and that but also you got to think about the fact that us just having the urge to have sex and not really paying attention to what we doing and having self-control and dealing with women that we can actually see ourselves in relationships with us not doing those things being careful about what we do with our you know what i'm saying causes a lot of trauma in these kids lives and we may not i know for a fact that i never thought about that aspect of it before i had kids I, that never crossed my mind because I didn't have kids to think about that about. I mean, for but we got to be proactive with this with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why I feel one of the biggest contributors to the single parent rate being so high is because we really don't put a lot of focus on choosing the right woman to be with. We just we we live in that lifestyle. Like for one, let me just say this. In our society, sex is way too big of an influence on us. I can see exactly why the Bible say, have sex after marriage. Because having sex before marriage, like just having sex, period. Once you have sex with somebody, it, it, clouds, your, it clouds your mind. Your ability to make good decisions goes out the window most of the time. When you got sex on good your question, mind, good question, Dre. You ain't, you that. know, yo, you you not responsible. <laughs> it's just like being under the influence of a drug. You will go out there and make some bad decisions when you get real horny. You know what I'm saying? If let's be grown about it, Take everybody cold showers. made some bad Take decisions when they was horny. You done called the ex that you know you shouldn't have been calling. You done did all of that in the past just because you had that urge. And it's done messed us up. And then on top of that, like that that uh, person that commented on that video said, we not having these kind of conversations that we need to be having. Men just out here, we we um in in the music and all that, we popularize having a bunch of women, having a bad chick, a dime, she got a big booty, all it. We got to stop doing that, man. We got to be conscious of, a lot of what chips. we are doing. A lot of chips when we out here having all this sex 
you know. And I ain't trying to seem like I'm I'm holier than thou and all that. I'm telling you from experience. The reason I'm in this situation I'm in is because I wasn't thinking clearly. I made some bad decisions as far as letting sex control who I dealt with and vice versa. We, me and my kid's mom, if we really would have paid attention to what we had going on, we would have saw, we would have saw that we weren't right for each other. But sex came into the picture too soon. Next thing you know, we just a hey, y'all know how grown up to do. So I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. I hope y'all take something from this video. Um, I know a lot of y'all always say that I only speak to women in my videos, but that's because as some square shit girl, rappers, guys who, um, bro, you know, brothers who, uh, worship rappers, you know what I'm saying? Like they pull out their yoga mat every time they wake up in the morning and they get on all fours and they do this to the uh, future or NBA young boy. Yeah. They think that's some square shit, you know, which is most of the society. So yeah, like a motherfucker would rather move like Nipsey than future. Do you think males and females consider it lame like some goody goody? If listen, Dre, if they consider that lame and goody goody, that's all the proof you need right there. That's all the proof you need right there to get far away from them type of people. Far away. You'll be happy. I, if I were you, I'll thank them people for being like, they're like, man, why are you doing that? Some lame ass shit. I'll be like, thank you. Thank you for telling me that's lame because now I know I got to stay far the fuck away from you. All the way from you. Like far away. Block calls, block texts. Hey, I, I keep it real. I'm not even going to say that, bro. Listen, it be so real and hard and cutthroat what I like, you know, just separate myself that I ain't going to go there. I ain't going because I, I won't even show up. I don't. Hey, listen, just hey, all I'm going to say is this. Just because somebody. When somebody leaves this world, okay, I don't know why is they make society make it seem like it's culturally right to speak good on that person or to be obligated to, you know, do all that type of stuff, you know, the reunion, all that type of stuff. If you cut off somebody while they're on this earth, and you, you know what I'm saying? That's the type of person I am. I'm just going to be real. Like, come on. Let's be all the way real with it. But anyways, I got another um proof right here. Of why the heck that I, I blame the um, husbands completely. Um, for, nah, baby daddies. Give me one second. Hold on. Now. Can you please tell me where you cut my children's hair? I, cut, you had I no gave authority. I gave my kids a haircut. You had no authority. Did you cut? Did you have my kids behind us? Did you consult with me? Can, let me peel off. Did you consult with me? Can I leave now? Let's be a man for once. Can I leave? Consult with me, Ma. Can you get the police because he ain't taking my photo because he won't tell me exactly what happened. He has no right to do that. I asked you a simple question. So your mom gonna get the police? I don't know. I'm asking you a question. Where did you do this? Earl, they don't- Kim, you are really making the kids nervous. Earl, I know my own children ever since. Okay? Ever since what? I know my children. Ever, ever since, since what? Since you abandoned them. I abandoned I know them, okay? Oh, I thought I left you. No, I'm recording it too, just to make sure that we're even, Stephen, okay? Yeah, I don't care so about no that. no problem. Oh, 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 don't scratch the car. Oh no, scratch the car. Go ahead, do whatever you wanna do. Come on, let me hold the train. No, that's their train. They do whatever you want to do. Okay, that's crazy. Okay. You hold on to that train. Don't let him take that away from you. Nope. Don't let him put the, the train on the car, please, Kim. You need to tell me exactly what happened. Oh, I see you got the boys crying. Well, you took his don't, train. Don't scratch the I car. I didn't take it. Don't Answer scratch the, the car. Question. Get daddy a kiss. Get daddy a kiss. The question. Look. Did I pick him up, Kim? Put him down. Can I pick the You're kid over up? The time. Let me pick You're the kid. over the time. So I can't pick the kids Let up. Let go. Would you tell me where you did? So I can't pick the kids up. Tell me what you did. They got a haircut, Kim. Where? Where, Earl? You put a shaver to their head. How dare you do that? 
You finish? And your mom is going to get the police, huh? Kim, would you please have them would get the train off the car? The I'm going to take the train from them. Okay, take them and then they'll be bowling and it's all you. That's it. They can't have the train on the car. Well, then now, you need to answer the then question. Why don't you back up from then the car then? You need to answer the question. Back up from the car. They're going to remember you as an image of taking this away. Then back I up from the car, Kim. Then answer my question, please. Back up from the car. Answer my question. Who gave you the right to sing with me? Get out of here. Give the car back. Let me give him a kiss, Kim. Let me go. Okay, and this is where we're going to stop it right here. Okay. Give, give him the train. Let me give that a kiss. Oh, press pause, goddammit. You see how the the child, there, there's two of them. I thought it was one. I ain't watched this movie in a while. What's up, MoFax? Yep. What's up? Peace, peace. You see that. Remember, I said let's take a step back. And the overall thing is the child. Those two childs are being traumatized. Like they're like this, they don't know what's going on. They seen both their parents arguing. You see how they cry. You see what I'm saying? So salutes to him for even, you know, trying to say it's okay and all that, instead of like, you know, some of the other dudes be arguing right with the girl. But at the end of the day, it's his fault because I'm trying to figure out how the heck he had went balls deep inside this woman and she's talking to him like a damn Nancy Drew or like a PO officer. Like you've been late one hour and I told you specifically to be here at 8.15 p.m. You had did not answer my calls and all that. Like how, like what? You know what I'm saying? Like what the heck? Like that, that just blew my mind right there. So again, you know, what the hell? Like. You got to, like, be aware of your surroundings and know what's going on right here. Yeah, and then, come on. I keep blaming, you know what I'm saying, the brothers, because, you know, you put yourself in a situation like this, so I have no sympathy. I have some sympathy for the child because they're going through that. You know, a child is blank slate. It's innocent. The child ain't did nothing but just came here in this world. So, you know what I'm saying? So, that lady, yeah, she is sick for that. You know, like, they'll see, this is what I'm talking about. Shouts out to the Big Facts Podcast. They'll try to use the child as a leverage like you know off of her it could be two things one thing she's upset that they're not together and he probably have another life with another family or something so she used that child as leverage like you're not you know your child better not my, child, my son never better not be around that dang girl of yours woo, woo, woo. you know what i'm saying or two things it just she just like to see him beg or just see him go through that you know trauma they feed off that not all of them some some so i appreciate you um for correcting some Oh, yeah, yeah. Dang, my bad. We got Sierra up in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You walk into some real stuff right here. You walk into some real stuff. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. They do not deserve that at the end of the day. You're right. The child does not deserve that. They don't deserve that. Yeah, bargaining chip. Gorilla Kid, you on it, man. Shouts out to Gorilla Kid, man. Gorilla Kid got like five jobs, man. You know, he be on Big Facts Podcast. He be on here. He be having all the information. Heavy supporters, man. So, bargaining chip. Like this is poker or something. Like you know, bargaining. Like oh, like you know, you you really want to um you know see your son? You better come over to the house or something. You know some. Come on, man. Come on, man. Pick your people wisely. Yeah. Shouts out to AO for that Nabology. Yeah. We got another video that I'm about to put up and show y'all. This one, this one gonna be hitting hard. But hold on, give me a second. This is fair use right here. I found, I had to type it in on search. I think her name is Lovely T or something. She been doing this for a while. So fair use for that, for ha her having this information. You about to watch this. I, what the hell? I can't read. I snuck up on my kids at daycare because they, mama, Gina, not, don't let me see them. And I took my boys to get their hair cut. Okay, first of all, you messed up right there. You messed up right there. You snuck up on my kids at daycare because no i snuck up on my kids at daycare because they baby mama jana whatever don't let me see them first of all remember that guy on the last video was talking about paying thousands of dollars to go to court they have joint custody and all that so remember i'd be saying shouts out to him my father like the one that one ten percent of men out there who will step foot in court not because of warrants but because they want to you know have custody of their child so he, we already skipping that. He already, that's a red flag. First of all, red flag, you already done impregnate a damn, a respuse looking girl that's a nav, okay? The second one, he don't even want to step foot in the court. Okay, so boom, we're going to keep it on. Keep it on. Um, got my baby, my boy, see guys, boy's haircut. Got my baby girl hair, did. Look what her mama do just because I got my baby hair, did. I'm Gucci, but my baby hurt. But what the fuck? Bro, come on, man. My, my bad, bro, my bad. It's just this damn Ebonics freaking hooked on phonics type of, typing going on man 
I'm Gucci, but my baby hurt. But females talk about deadbeats. This why some off, off how he type. I can already tell you nothing that nothing as nigga. I mean, I, I get it, but come on, you ain't first of all, you're not stepping foot in court, you know, to try to get joint custody, and you typing like Gucci man when he on lean back in the damn 2010 era. Okay, so niggas say fuck that shit. It says, but females talk about deadbeats. This why some niggas say fuck that shit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Females talk about deadbeats. This why some niggas say fuck that shit. We're gonna get to that later. And I remind you, she also smushed her birthday cake on her birthday last year. My girl gonna always have hate in her heart. Daddy going to get custody soon, baby. Hold on. Are you just talking about? I wish I could get in contact with his brother right here. Where we could find his own Facebook page. Cause this was like, I think two years ago or something. Some people like to talk. That's why I have a problem with brothers. Uh, hate in her heart. Daddy gonna get custody of you soon, baby. Hold on, cause I know personally. Hold on, let me go ahead and put this up right here. From my observation, from my experiences, I know personally brothers who just talk, just talk shit, just talk. Don't do no action, just talk. Say all the right things. Like they like you know macking on somebody. Oh yeah, I'm about to go ahead and you know same thing with the rappers. You know. Shit, I'm about to go ahead and go to the studio, drop this tape right here. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I got 10,000 views on YouTube. You know, whoop, whoop. Even though I got 100 followers on um, Instagram and it's like 1,000 likes, I done paid somebody from a third party. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Just sounding all pretty and cute. So I hope you not all talk about that, okay? So we're going to go ahead and play this real quick. Let me go check this out. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got Marcus up in here. Bro, I, I appreciate all the support, man. Y'all are supporters, and this is a family right here. Yeah, I took that from you, MoFax. MoFax got family on his um platform. Y'all family and y'all supporters. I'm going to tell you one thing. We do not call each other groupies. We do not call each other fans. We are no different than nobody. Like I said earlier, I go to the bathroom just like y'all. I eat just like y'all. Ain't no, nothing down. This ego shit, just cut that out. So I appreciate the support for y'all, for real, man. It says, y'all, please. Uh, also, remember to hit that button. Appreciate you, Gorilla Kid, MoFax, like and share. What up, Don? Y'all know Don is this guy who made his book right here, Donald Oliver Davis, uh, The Art and Science of Worldview Warfare. We getting in there. Sierra, from my experiences. Yeah, from my experiences. I got a lot. Sometimes, because I don't want to, I'd like, from my experiences. Sometimes from my observation. I like, from my experiences. I press that just to be like, just to remind myself that I want to speak in absolute. Because we got sometimes, we go on these videos, like on Fresh and Fit. And I remember, what's that girl? K. Michelle. I'm, I know I'm going all over the place, but bear with me. K. Michelle did like a, talk show on the radio and she was like all men are trash all men cheat and if men don't cheat they might as well be gay because that's the only men that you know what i'm saying just talking is crazy and stupid and your boy Derek jackson been trying to you know persuade her and all that but i guess obviously in that area she was right because Derek jackson we know about him but i don't i mean to say from my experiences when i'll be like from my experiences from my observation i don't want to sound absolute i want to sound like i'm talking like for everybody you know like putting a label on it nah so I, that's why i do that um, shout out to all the mods. Salute everyone in the chat. Appreciate you. Got the tags on lock. Big salute. All right, so you're going to play this real quick. Some of y'all probably already know. Some of y'all don't. But go ahead. Hey, you know about this be a crime. I don't care. I told you. Stop playing with me. This motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. Oh, Look at that now shit. Wait. That shit's sad. It hurt now my wait. baby feeling. Now wait. Because you don't hurt the dad. You hurt her feelings. You hurt my baby feeling. My baby was sat there for two hours. I do my own go My baby was sat there for two hours. My baby said nobody did be a crime. I don't care. I told you, stop playing with me. That motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. Oh, Look at that now shit. Wait. That shit's sad. It hurt now my wait. baby feeling. Now wait. Cause you don't hurt the dad. You hurt her feelings. You hurt my baby feeling. My baby sat there for two hours. I do my own girl hair. My baby sat there for two hours. All right, y'all just seen that video and that shit. All right, me. hold on. We'll pause that right there. You know what I'm saying? But you, you saw. Remember, I remember this. Um. When the way she was talking, it reminded me of South Park. If I could pull it up, it was Cartman off of South Park. And he was on Maury. And he was like, I don't care, whatever. I do what I want. I don't care, whatever. That's that nab tendency. Shout out to EO for that. <laughs> Second of all, I got I to gotta go back to grasp what the heck. Hold on. Like, my bad. I got to grasp it real quick. I got to grasp it. My baby sat there for two hours. Don't play with me. Don't... My baby said nobody did be a crime. I don't care. I told you, stop playing with me. They want cut my baby. Okay, my baby out here crying. First of all, you know, so my baby out here crying. And the mom was like, I don't care. I don't care. Remember, let's take a step back. It's all about the child. What do you mean you don't care that the, you get what I'm saying? What do you mean you don't care? What, what do you mean? Like, what are we talking about? Like, what are we doing here? 
Down bad. Hey, 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 hey. I hope that, Sierra, I know exactly what you're talking about. I hope that because I remember two years ago we came across this and she went on live and she was on there talking about, I ain't did that, you know, to hurt my child feelings. Da, da, da. She was like, uh, the, the damn braids, whoever did her hair, she did it too tight. It was hurting my damn baby scalp. I know my baby. I know what the hell going on. So, Sierra, no, it's not that. Because she wear weave, the mother wear weave and all that. I wish it was like that. I wish it was, but nope, it's not like that. Let's get that a picture. I appreciate you for using your detective skills or looking at it from both spectrums. Nah, that's not the picture. That's not the point. The point is that you kidnapped my child and you got her hair done without me having control of it. Without me, shots like the I'm Gorilla Kid, bargaining chip. Without me holding the child to make you the, like, you know, some damn slave master shit. Like, oh, well, police officer, like, I like I like to see you beg, boy. Go ahead and beg for me. Beg, please. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that. that's why. I believe this whole situation went down like that. Let me see the comments. Uh, I'm thankful my parents never argue in front of us. It's traumatic for them. Yeah, I, I, true. Not only the argument, I mean, we all, we can't, like I said, I'm a 90s baby, and you got to understand, my parents and the parents before them, like, we talking about the color purple era times. You know what I'm saying? Like, we talk about that. So, but now, you see how technology and information advance from my era, my generation and on. So there's no excuse for my people from my age bracket to be going through this bullshit right here. You know what I'm saying? To be doing this, putting an innocent child in place like this. You know what I'm saying? So even let's say if you do come from a, um, a childhood that was traumatized abuse and all that, I mean, we all got fucked up stuff from the past. Yeah. We still don't put that out on, cause all the stuff we know, all the information we got, all the um, wrongdoing we see going on. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's not go ahead and fully blame the past. Let's keep it 1000. Baby, hell, out of here. Look at that now shit. What? That shit's sad. It hurt now my what? baby feeling. Now what? Cause you don't hurt the dad. You hurt her feelings. You hurt my baby feeling. My baby sat there for two hours. Okay, I do my own girl help. My baby sat. You saw how she tried. You saw that salt. You saw that salt. Hi, right, Sierra. So what you were saying, Sierra? I get what you're talking about. You're right. Scout pulling. I get what you're talking about. This could have been handled differently. I wanted. I wanted it to be like that about the weave thing. But look at the mother right here. Look at the mother right here. Will you talk? What you? What are we doing here, Sierra? What, what, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? That's what I want to know. What are we doing here? That was good. I had watched it. I'm telling you, two years ago when I saw this, I looked at it from different aspects, too, until I saw how she looked, and I was like, oh, there it is. I was like, hold on, hold on, give me a second. Shots of the heel again. I was like this. Use AO terminology. There it is. There it is right there. That's all I need to see right there. That's all I just looking at that. That's why I go hard on. That's why y'all don't see me being looking like EDP 445 talking about working out, eating healthy. I take my appearance very serious about that health wise and all that. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, yo, I went from 240 to 226. I mean, you know, I'm not eating meat, you know what I'm saying? But 14 pounds, I forgot. It was like a couple weeks I ain't been eating meat. Energetic and all that, but what? Like, never mind that. Look at the mother. Come on now, come on now. And then she assaulted the dang guy. That for two hours. All right, y'all just seen that video. There it is. That's one right there. Uh, wait, all right. I don't respect scorn, vindictive. Da, 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 da. I play, I feel you, Sierra. Listen, I feel you. I play devil's advocate too. I, I feel you. I, I tell you, great, great minds think alike because I do be playing that, especially with LJ Savings Minds Debt about that you're a slave type stuff, debt credit. I always play devil's advocate with him, you know. So, yeah, I understand. I appreciate that. That's good, though. That's good. Appreciate you, Gorilla Kid. I don't respect scorn woman. Oh, okay, okay. She was wrong. That would be a traumatic moment I met. <laughs> All right, so that that's um that's one down. That's one down. We got another one to go. Oh, all right. Boom, 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 boom. Let me try to share this one. Uh, share, hit screen, share audio. Had a baby, uh, baby mama go off on. Dang, oh, I think that was already two right there. Hold on, give me a second, y'all. Hold on. Dang, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, stop playing with me. That's my favorite line. <laughs> favorite line right there. That's that. That's stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the one to play with. I'm not like those other ones. Da, da, da. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, leave that alone. Leave that alone. 
you go ahead and play another one. Uh, I think this is one right here. If I clicked on it, I'm about to click on this one. I'm about to share this. Come on, stop doing that shit. All right, give me one. She's so childish, bro. Okay, I see that. Before we go in. She's so childish, bruh. Like, who, who, first of all, I hope that's not the guy who put this up. I hope it's just somebody, like some geek who's looking at this whole situation. The same geeks that look at rappers beef with each other in the neighborhood and be like, smoking the op pack. Yeah, like, you know, just like kind of spicing the title up. To like, because looking at this title, it's like, she's so childish, bruh. Like, you know, what's wrong with her? <laughs> you know, like some beavers and butthead shit. No, what's wrong with you? You know? You the one who you know sign up for this right here. I'm not. I just trying to be gonna give me my baby or not. I can put my own child in the car. Don't touch my car. Give me my baby. I can do it. If you give me my baby, you can go. I am grown. Don't touch my car. Don't touch my car. Don't touch my car. Oh, stop. You still got it on camera? All right. Now, she don't want to give me my baby. I drove up here you for two hours, seat. and she don't want to give me my child. There's you... a car seat Yes, there. it is a car seat in there, man. Car seat right there. No. Give me my baby so I can go. You don't need to be in my car. It's a car seat in there. No, yelling. I'm not yelling. I want you to give me my child so I can go home. I'm not screaming, but I just want my child so I can go home. Look, you know what? I just kind of got real played out of this real quick. I come across this time where I like, how do I explain it? When I see something that don't make logical sense or something that's just straight ignorant, I kind of get like real dry. So shouts out to Big Facts Podcast and Ayo for doing that because this gets like, like losing brain cells, mentally fatiguing and all that towards me and all that. Like this shit is like, like what? Like you, to avoid all this, you know, scenarios in the first place, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, we want to definitely stop, you know, putting that energy out. But shouts out to that guy who I played on the first video. He's giving you the truth of what's really going on and not to be out here like future and, and be a young boy having 14 kids like it's cute. Like, come on now from 14 different baby moms. Like, now nah, we don't do that. OK, so take cold showers and just, you know, become more wise, become smart, like grow up, quit being a child, a child having a child that don't make sense. So, yeah, um, I'm going to give you all another insight on i might start another live and do this i'm about to look this up real quick so y'all can see it it's called a soft underbelly interview under hold on under underbelly the underbelly profile damn what's that girl name i forgot her name it was not cookie destiny uh i'm gonna let y'all see my screen real quick I'm going to give you an insight of what I'm going to do. I might just go ahead and make another live for it. But this is where we at right here. Hold on. She wants to see if it was a female in the car. Oh, dang. That's crazy. I can't speak. Um, I can't ever speak much on this because I'm 41 with zero kids. I feel you, Christina. I feel you. I'm glad you can't speak on this. Like, like you know, like relate. Like, oh, yeah, girl. I had something like this, you know, back in my time. No, no, no. Like, that's not. A, uh, so salute to you. I had watched some of this. This is crazy. But um, his name is no soft white underbelly. That's the name, soft white underbelly. You got pimps, you got prostitutes. Oh yeah, this right here, this is it. I might, I'm gonna just, we need like about three minutes probably to start another live and do a review on this right here, ex prostitute Jazzy, and we got another one. We might go do two in one, her Jazzy and another girl named Tia Taya. She do these like massage parlors, you know. The, like I massage you and I give you a jerk off or some. I gotta watch that again. So we're gonna do two in one and just gonna do like parts of it. We ain't gonna watch the whole goddamn thing. For you city girls or Meg the Stallion or Cardi B influence, like you know, you just into that cult over there and you just, you know, hot girl summer and all that, and you know, six figures, six figures. Remember, I told y'all a while ago that nine out of ten, you're not gonna get <laughs> 
if you get a six-figure guy, what makes you think that that's not going to be a American cycle six-figure guy? Or millionaire don't matter. You know, because there are many. It's very slim to have, like, see, this is what, okay, from my experience and my observation, some, some girls believe they could score like Sierra, right? But y'all forgot that Sierra keeps her body fit. She do all the dances. Like, come on, y'all remember Sierra still dancing and doing all that, you know, like, on her shit, okay? So, boom, she scored. Okay, good for her. Y'all fail to realize that there's um these millionaire six-figure guys that when they pay for you or they get you everything you want, they will probably beat you like an R&B singer or they'll have you in their basement. I'll I show y'all clips of that. You will, and you will end up missing. Like, they own you. They look at you like you are my property. Like, you're my slave. I paid for you. What you mean that, you know, you don't want to do this? You don't want to do that? I just had bought you a Bentley. You know what I'm saying? You got these sick American psycho people out here. That's so, shouts out to her. And I'm going to play another clip from Tia, I think that's her name, about how real this is, the, the reality. You know, I'm in a bind, mate. So, yeah. Let me read the comments real quick. Dang. I've seen a lot of those interviews. Yeah. Mama, so I know the dynamic. Yep. Yep. So you know the dynamics here. So I'm glad you ain't, you know, the one who be fighting with the dang baby, they, all type of stuff. Nah, nah, I respect that. I'm glad you, because I know from your person, like how I look at you, how I view you, how open-minded and, you know, how you look at stuff from many different angles. I know you're not on that type of level. I know you're not, not level. You're not on that type of mindset to, you know, put hands on a baby dad and all that crazy stuff. Referring to Sony, sent for the P made a video about, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonny, I don't actually know what you mean by that. And Sierra actually appreciates Russell. That's another thing. You're right. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It was a lot of brothers when Sierra had um got Russell. It was a lot of dudes talking about man, he a simp, this and that. Uh, he playing stepdad and all that. Whoop the whoop. The whole nine yards. But I just thought of it like, bro, who cares? I'm like, I don't know. I wouldn't do that. No, but I'm saying like, who? What type of man would wake up and just think about, you know? Sierra, like, you know, hating on, just being upset, like, oh, he's Sierra, da, da, da. Like, you kind of get what I'm saying? You get where I'm coming from? Like, the hate was real. Like, they had wanted her to get with a dude, like, future or something. Like, so we're going to expose that part right there. So, like I said, Russell, Sierra got lucky. Sierra been blessed for that, you know. She kept her body in shape and all that because, let's be real, if you looking like Lizzo, Lizzo, I, <laughs> Lizzo can't get no Russell guy. No, 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 no. See, this is like a, you know, a business deal right here. Yeah, like I say, I know Sierra. I saw a video of Sierra when she was pregnant, like eight, nine months pregnant, and she was doing flips, like, you know, jumping around, doing her little choreographer dancing. I'm like, I know for a fact that 80% <laughs> is not going to do that. <laughs> you know, Young Miami, uh, JT and all that, you're not doing that shit, man. They're going to go ahead and go to the damn Dominican Republic of Puerto Rico and, you know, Black China, they're going to get that thing, you know, tucked, tucked in, you know, cut. They ain't going to no damn gym. They ain't going that, man. Talking about his ass. He treating buddy like that. See, yeah, Dre, like, good for them. I'm happy for them. See, that's what I'm saying. I was just talking about those dudes. Like, they, misery needs company, you know. Like, they'll get up in the morning, they'll just go, and they'll lash out on Sierra and all Like It's like, it's crazy. I remember that era. And Future, he was in his feelings. <laughs> and remember Future been in his feelings? He had made that song. It was that album. I ain't gonna lie, that was like one of my best albums for Future because he wasn't on no damn, you know, influencing people to kill, or drink, lean, and all that. He was talking about, I think he had The Weeknd on that album. Like, you know, Use Me and all that. Those were good songs right there because he was hurt. He was hurt. <laughs> and I remember he did an interview talking about she's always in control. Like, you know, she be bossy. She tells him what to do and all that. And like, like, Future, yeah, you was acting like a hoe on that interview trying to talk about uh you know sierra and her man like come on bro that's some whole shit right there i tell you man these like we're gonna start exposing these guys right here we're gonna start exposing these little boys i ain't gonna tell them men we're gonna start exposing south side even though i i fuck with him heavily on his beats you know 808 mafia south side who um i think he got young miami credit he got big with young miami we're gonna expose him for being we could tell who been raised by a single mother who has mad tendencies okay shots like AO again for that south side gets in his feelings and start like like a like a fem like go on the internet and start cussing up a storm and all that. We're gonna expose Southside. We're gonna we already exposed future. We already exposed NBA Young Boy. 
uh, and what I mean by exposed, I'm talking about like showing the the feminine traits, like you know, like throwing the fit and everything. Like just we don't do that, you know. So let me check these comments right here to the fist here. You check that we are good and bad to the foot. Their own issues. Like everybody has an answer. Somebody else's issue. Yeah, you're right. We all are experts at somebody else's issues, but when it comes to our issues, we be like uh, 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 either disingenuous or having a cognitive dissonance with it. Facts because the energy you put out is what they receive. That is true, Sierra. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we're going to talk about this video right here, Ty. We're going to talk about this video, the thought agenda, because what what's that girl who made that song? She said, get that head, that bread, and leave. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, I make them pay for this and that. And remember I played a scene from um, Set It Off with Jada? She was like, I'm in a bind, Nate. And people laugh out of it. But, but, but it's real? Oh, hold on, man. We're going to listen, bro. Listen. Hold on. Before you even... Hold on, man. Hold on. Before I even switch on lives, you gonna go up in there, bro. <laughs> Cause this is crazy. This is what this is what y'all want right here. This is what y'all, you know, like. Let's be real. Like you know, like the girls, the celebrities who tell y'all they do this and all, they know they be crying in the shower after this. Pleasing an old man who's seventy years old. They don't want to be doing that. Getting trips to Paris and all that. You know, come on, man. They are gonna have to have sex with a damn seventy year old man who has to be on Viagra and all that. Let's keep that thousand, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. We gonna we gonna show y'all what's up. We gonna show y'all what's up. Y'all keep playing with this thing. Y'all keep playing like this is a freaking game. I'm gonna show that real quick. And there it is. There it is right there. Oh yeah, Beat King. Shouts out, yeah, Beat King. His not shouts out to him. No, cause he he a dang approve of that message. That little. That's what that girl talked about. I ain't gay, but I let a girl eat me out. All that like. It's contradicting throughout that whole song. You know, get that head, get that bread, and leave and all that. Like, <laughs> that, let's be real. I have nothing against um, escorts, prostitutes, or girls who are sex workers. I have nothing against that. What who I have a problem with is confused prostitutes, confused escorts. That's who I have a problem with. I don't have a problem with the prostitutes. I don't. I don't. You know, I feel, hey, the confused ones. There was another clip I saw on Fresh and Fit. It was a confused prostitute slash OnlyFans girl. She talking about, she was actually with Mosey, the rapper who got, you know, charged at rape thing. She was like, uh, he told me to come up to the hotel and he had another girl there and he, she had her clothes off and I just left. I was mad. And she pretty much said that, yeah, um, I get it. You got girlfriends and all that, but just don't tell me. And, you know, after we have sex, just hang out. Let's go watch a movie. Let's just eat. Don't just, you know, just have sex and leave. Like, like hold on, what are we doing here? <laughs> I have a problem with confused prostitutes and confused escorts. I have a problem with confused. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> oh man, there it is. I'm mean, like, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Listen, I have a problem with that because I want to play that clip too. And I was so confusing. Like I just, I thought I was in a chess tournament. Like, what you mean? Like you, you pretty much had an OnlyFans and you. You gave him a price, and he matched that price, and he went over. Now you in your feelings because he got done screwing another girl, and he's gonna pay you. See, this is what I'm talking. Like, let it let it be known what it is. Now, this is what this is why I have a problem with city girls, Megan Stallion, Cardi B, and all that because it's like a yeah, I'm a hot girl. Some I'm a, like home. We gonna play this real quick. I gonna have me out here for like three hours on this wrong video. Uh, oh, oh, I can do that. Oh yeah, yeah, I can do, I can that. do that. But I mean, Stoney Newsome got to give me a reason to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And what would that be? Oh, come on now. You know. Oh, you know. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. huh? Let's go for a ride. All right. I'll say this before I play this part right here. Because when I was a JIT. I used to thought that Nate was the wrong person in this. Like Nate was took advantage of this. I was completely wrong. No, it was Jada Pinkett. <laughs> it was her entanglement that caused this right here. Her entanglement. So when do I get my advance? Oh, I don't know. See, see? Tomorrow, maybe the day after. 
Look, Nate, before I do this, I want my check. Hey, whoa, 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 look. See? You not getting no check from me until I'm done, you understand? You not getting no goddamn check from me until I'm finished. Nate wasn't playing that, man. See, this is what Meg and Cardi B and City Girls don't tell you. You can't just run game on an old head like that. You know, talking to, like, like you from the north and the damn, the old head is from the south. Like, you could talk to them, oh, yeah, you old country guy. Just running in circles, like, oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. I'll show you a picture of my feet. No, 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 no. This is an experienced, older, wise guy right here. So that's why I have a problem with them, because they think that you could run game on this type of guy. No, no. This ain't right. It's not even worth it. And this is it, that crime thing, yeah. I'm in a bind, Nate. Some other time. Some other time. I really need this money, Nate. And we're going to just stop it right there. We're just going to stop it right there. Listen, we're going to stop that right there, bro. We're going to, yeah, we ain't going to, this ain't going to turn to no goddamn uh, flick up in here. And I get flagged and all that. Heck no. Not even a flag, but you know what I'm saying? We're going to stop it right there. And you're right. And see, look at the people in the chat. Shouts out to the ladies in the chat. Sierra, and like, these are ladies that saying that he peaked game. You know what I'm saying? Like, they even tell you what it is. All right, come on, like, let's be real, man. But we want to go ahead and definitely um in this live, and we're going to start another live on, you know, what should I title that? Anybody, let me see in the comments. What should I title that next live? Because that next live, we're going to be talking about stuff like this, and we're going to talk about that, that ex-prostitute. Well, as she says, that ex-prostitute from that under soft belly, what was it called? I keep getting it mixed up. Soft white underbelly. And the reason why that guy named that, this white guy named it, he runs that channel. He says soft white underbelly because he says that every animal or creature on this earth, they have a soft spot. And it's like on their stomach. Alligator or tiger or anything. Soft white underbelly. So you just saying like we have, no matter how tough we look or what we've been through, we always got like a soft spot. So what should I name the other live? Because we're going to be talking about this girl right here. She's um a veteran too. This ain't no damn um uh what's that girl who broke up with offset? Oh Migo. Not Migo, uh Quavo Sweetie. Yeah, Streety. Oh sweetie, like how academic said. She's not no rookie like Sweetie or nothing. No, this is a veteran who been in the streets, who been on the blade and all that. You know, they're gonna tell you. Damn, I thought I was sharing that shit. Hold on, give me a second. Oh snap, oh snap. I thought I was sharing it. Yeah, my bad. I was talking and I'm not showing the screen. See, this is damn the whole time I thought this was showing, but the other screen. So yeah. She's a veteran, okay? This is not no dang um Saweetie or Meg the Stallion or you know all the other confused, you know, prostitutes, whatever. She gonna tell you like how it is, straight up, raw and cut. This one, she's um a rookie confused one that we was talking about. I was about to use this one, but I was like, nah, the way she was talking and all that, and just, you know, like being all dingy and stuff. I see that I got a problem with that little, I don't know what's going on. Like, uh, what? Like, uh, yeah, like what? That's how you end up missing, you know? So I ain't going to, about to get in the zone on this live, but yeah, we're going to talk about this. Carla, 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 prostitute culture exposed. Whoo, that's a good one. Guilt trip somebody, yeah. <laughs> I don't hey that's just it, that's the game man you can't hate the players you can't I don't even say hit the game that's just the game right there that's just how it is you know like how I say life ain't fair hey so what what you gonna do about it what you gonna you know what I'm saying so that's why I be saying like don't I never play that victim role it is what it is remember I made that video about perception is everything with the water boys if you were a brother of ours or a sister of ours you already know that the perception is heightened on you they would just where do you go to a job or a corporation? You know, if you smell like weed or something, like, oh, yeah, that is. See, that's that nigga right there. He, he smokes and he probably listen to trap music, you know, stuff like that. So that's why I be saying it, life ain't fair. It is what it is. You got to use that perception. So, you know, it is what it is, man. What's up, Carla? Prostitute culture exposed. 
I might I might use that one. Prost okay, so prostitute culture exposed. Or we use um Mr. Symbol. Uh you should name it prostitution and where it gets you. Yeah, that's a all right. Prostitute culture exposed or prostitution and where it gets you. So I okay, so we're gonna put prostitution in the title and we're gonna go from there and see what else. Those are two good ideas. Or prostitution and where it get you. Prostitution and where it gets you. But but I feel you, Mr. Sim, that's a good idea. Both of y'all came with the word prostitution with it. So, but the reason why I ain't gonna say I don't think prostitution and where where it gets you would be a good title because you're gonna have some disingenuous, you know, nabs up in there who be like, I don't know what this nigga talking about. Prostitution got me a damn condo and they got me a car, even though they're making payments on that stuff. You know, like, oh, he got me like five thousand dollars a month on OnlyFans. What he talking about? You know, I get to show my feet like so that's why I'm I'm that title kind of uh, you know, make people just skip past that. They're not confused. They just don't like to work for us. <laughs> Listen, I feel... <sighs> Put it this way. Okay, you got some girls on these um, soft white underbelly channel. They'll be like... Some of them be like, okay, I'm a prostitute. And you got this girl named Frenchie. She's like, she's a, a escort. She's a high value. She says she's an escort. And then she got so good at her craft that she don't... She got a house and a car. She got everything. Like one of the successful ones with the escort thing, you know, going to the swinging parties. So she got so, she mastered that craft so much that she said that she's a, a art something, art pleasure entertainment device or some crazy word, right? She, she said that's what she is. And I, I give that to her. You know what? I'll give it to her because she, like the outcome, like it was business wise set up. We talking about on some, she set it up like, like Pinky. Yeah, I know. I know y'all niggas know who Pinky XX is. You know, she like so. Shouts out to her. Like she got a business module off it. You know, this ain't no confused prostitute. So that's why I say confused prostitute is like that girl from that Fresh and Fit interview who'd be like, "Yeah, I say it was like you know a hundred thousand dollars, and if you want me to slide through or five thousand dollars, but yeah, I, I give you a prostitution price, but still that doesn't mean that after you do it with me that." You could leave or tell me to leave. You got to cuddle me and tell me everything's going to be all right. You got to go out and eat. That's who I got a problem with. Confused ones. Like, let it be known what it is. Off rip. You could call it escort. You could call it strip. I can't even say stripper because I'm exotic dancer or stripper because, see, I might bring AO. I might bring um the Big Facts podcast. Um, I might bring Ty. I might bring Gorilla Kid. I might bring my dog Marcus up in this conversation because there's a lot of nuances to this right here. Because we already established that OnlyFans is a bridge to, <laughs> to, to prostitution. We already done said that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I've proven this, actually. OnlyFans is a bridge to prostitution because, or or like soft porn. Like, you know, because what's that girl off that Bernie Mac show? Uh, Nessa? I don't know her real name. She did an OnlyFans, and I remember when she first did it, in my head, I was like, yeah, it is. My head, when she had an OnlyFans thing. I was like, this, there it is. Because I already know where it was going at. She was like, I'm not doing that. I'm just going ahead, you know, just, you know, I'm 30 years old, show nice pictures and everything. I'm not going to be exclusive and show a lot of cleavage or show my body and all that. She said that when she first came up with that. And she was like, please don't say that Bernie going to turn over his grave and all that. She said she was going to start her OnlyFans and just have pictures, just normal pictures. Now, now you see her in bikinis and like half naked and all that. So that's why I say OnlyFans is a bridge to that because it's. It, remember, I was telling y'all about these drugs. Remember, I was telling y'all about how you know, if you know a girl is addicted to weed or pills, you already in the game. Man, come on, man. Look. Glad back. The one thing is webcam is nothing. To oh man, real cool that song, dog. Dang, bro. But like I said, man, I might bring um. I definitely, the life and times of the hot girl, laugh out loud. Damn, the titles of it, Hot Girl Summer Turned to the Coldest One Ever. It's like, duh, dang. Prostitution exposed of like, what's, what what city girls and Meg don't tell you? Be like, what the, oh, I'm trying to think of the title, like, what the city girls or what prostitution or. Ah, dang, man. Hold on. Give me another good title real quick because, dang. I'm going to go with the next best title. The next title, I mean, you know, Mr. Simba and um, 
anybody who drop a title for the next live, we're gonna go off it, man. I know it's gonna be prostitution something. And then we're gonna end it like that. Memoirs of a hugger or something. Uh, mem uh, dang. Mem memoirs of a hot girl summer parentheses or tittle marks prostitution. Y'all think we should go with that? Yeah, we might we might go with that then. Yeah, we might go with that for real. Girls in the city. <laughs> ah, dream dog. My dog dream be going in. <laughs> and then check this out. I'm gonna do the next live like a couple minutes right now as we speak. I'm not even gonna take time to edit the thumbnail till after. I'm just go ahead and just boom, put up the you know, a picture, and we're going to hop into that live, and we're going to have an open panel. You know, and we're going to go through these videos right here, like two of them, and we're going to have an open panel, and we're going to really get into the, the grits, the meats, you know, the, however the old head said, get into the crevices of this. Okay. Prostitution exposed, hot girl, some hot scenes. Oh, that's tight, Marcus. That's tight. Let me go ahead and put that right now, so I won't forget that shit. All right. Right, prostitution explodes hot girl summer behind the scenes <laughs> summer let me see that summer behind the scenes how you put it i like how you put that little parentheses around it the little prostitution exposed that's what i'm gonna say appreciate that marcus marquis yes yes that's right that's right yeah, exposed. You're right. You're right. I know what you're talking about. It's a different type of sex, right? I wouldn't consider it escorting. I associate prostitution with street walking. See, you're right. You're right. Prostitution is walking that blade. Yeah. And escort is like, see, I had a brother. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I'm going to put you on game with something else. Real talk. It was this guy, um, Underbelly, Underbelly Interview Brothel. I had this guy. I emailed him. I got his number two. Hopefully, after he see this live, he will come up. This guy right here, I got in contact with him, and we were supposed to do a live Friday because he's a brothel owner, you know, and his woman, his clientele that he got, he called them escorts, you know, because he got a website back then before the Secret Service got him and all that. Now, we could go into him, like, he had owned, like, an online brothel where he had locations where these girls go to. I think it was, like, about eight different girls, and he said no drugs was involved. He said he got... The girls, the reason why the girls did it was like they want to pay for college to college debt or they had been a single mother and they want to make sure their kid has the best life, whatever. He made sure he drug test them and all that. And there was an agreement, whatever, blah, blah, blah. He agreed to come over here and explain that. But I think he kind of, you know, felt about like, uh, are they going to like this content, young grump and all that? And I'm like, just come on, bro. I might as well text him after this for real. But I had watched this dude. Um. Hold on. Let me see if I can find his um shit. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. Damn, his name was Man, that's his email, bro. I had it. I, I subscribed to his YouTube channel, but anyway, we're gonna bring that dude up. Hopefully he come. But yeah, you're right. Escort is like in prostitution walking a braid. I'm the blade. It's nuances to this. So y'all right, y'all absolutely right. But I'm just saying. We put that word confused in front of it because you can't you can't eat your cake and have it at the same time, you know, like like that girl who said she was an OnlyFans slash uh temporary girlfriend slash temporary prostitute. Like what are you what are we talking about? Like what are we doing? So what would the bunny ranch be considered? <laughs> truth is truth, get his ass here. It is very thin line. It's a thin line. It's a thin line. So I y'all trying to get on me. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to get y'all the benefit of the doubt right here, man. I'm trying to get y'all the benefit of the doubt when y'all just on some straight AO shit talking about you are a prostitute. Like <laughs> like AO be the type of nigga that you see a girl who actually be a stripper, like what's that girl? Nasty Naj. I think she be on Instagram and she be having these seminars to teach girls how to twerk. She like a Russian girl. Hey, y'all be like, hey, yo, you'll come out the woodwork and be like, you a, you a prostitute. Like, you'll tell <laughs> This nigga would tell like, <laughs> y'all crack me up. Hey, but we going ahead and end this right now. We're going to start another one, man, for real.